guys and welcome to Vlogmas After Dark. You are not going to stay here the whole time, are you? Go ahead. and welcome to day six of Vlogmas. Today we're gonna talk about internet hate. Question I get a lot, whether it just be in like a Q&A on a live stream or with a few of my clients that are just starting out their channels, is how to handle hate that will inevitably come when you put anything on the internet. I must preface this with the fact that YouTube overall is a good place. In my opinion, it's a place for people to form communities, share experiences, advice, just their story in any way, shape, or form, and 90% of the comments that I have found have been either great, nice, positive, or constructive criticism, which in my opinion is still positive. If someone writes me and says, hey, you know, your camera wasn't focused, your microphone wasn't on, or there's the sound in your background, like, that's positive to me because it's helping me or somebody else who was making the video. It's helping the content creator make better video as they go on and learn. Then there's that 10%, you know, the ones that are unhappy with their life so they must go out and spend their time writing other people who are following their goals and passions and make them feel bad about themselves. On YouTube, they're typically called trolls. Some people call them haters. They just have to write something mean or rude. Sometimes they don't even write anything pertinent to the video. But regardless of how the hate comments got there, there's only one way I deal with haters or trolls. I don't write them back. I don't engage with their comment in any way, shape, or form. The only way I deal with their comments is by deleting them. They have no right to be there, they don't serve a purpose, and they are not beneficial to myself or anybody watching the video. Therefore, they gotta go. And if you are someone watching this who has left a mean comment, do me the greatest favor and click unsubscribe right now. Because you don't have a place here, you really don't have a place on any channel unless someone's asking for hate comments. And if you're somebody watching this, who is scared of making a YouTube channel because you are afraid that your classmates or trolls or haters online are gonna leave you mean comments. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it and say no one ever will. I'm just gonna say that you have to develop the confidence and the thick skin to say, you know what, I'm not gonna tolerate that. That's gonna leave my channel real quick. And if I have to block you to get you off my channel, I will do so. I never actually had to block anybody to my knowledge. I don't think I have. But I did save a few of my favorite trolling comments and I have them here. Um, I do have the names of the people that wrote these but I'm not going to read their names because someday they're either gonna go in my book or I'm just gonna do a video of my top 10 least favorite commenters. I don't know. Cause don't forget it's the internet. Whenever you write something, it's not going away. Lesson of the day. Anyway, top three worst comments left on the Kristen Marie channel. Number three, girl, tanning beds exist for a reason. They didn't say what the reason was, I deleted it. I think I told my sister and she was like, don't, don't even go there. They're just, you know, it had nothing to do with my appearance at all. It had to do, I think it was a finance video or something and that was their opinion. Number two, by the way, spelling is really good on these. Like, really good. Do haters have spell check? Apparently not. Why you lips out of proportion? Not a good look. Again, delete and out. Don't need it. And number one, if you've been with this channel for the last several months, you know that I applied and interviewed and was in the running for a TV show with NBC that's gonna air next spring. You also know that I did not get picked, and other than hide that in the shadows, I shared with you guys the experience, and I read you guys verbatim the letter telling me I was rejected from this show. Now for those that aren't actors, I'm gonna give you the cliff notes of Actors World. Think of it like a really professional Instagram. Actors don't like to go around and talk about the things they don't get, they just wanna push the things they do to look really successful, like nothing wrong ever happens to them. Just kinda of like on Instagram, it's all filtered, you only see the good parts. So it was not easy to sit in front of a camera and read a rejection letter verbatim, but the point of me doing it was to share with you guys that it's okay to try. Failing is proof of trying, and I actually got a lot of actors that wrote to me, and some parents of my students that wrote to me and said, thank you for doing this, it shows them they're not the only ones, you know, you were right, trying, failing is proof of trying. But then we get comments like this. Number one, 
no offense, it's offense with an SH, no offense, but you're a little too fat for TV. And I remember reading this and just thinking, I've already shared something that was difficult to share. I laid it all out for everybody to know, didn't hide it, didn't sugarcoat it. Had, this TV show was all about music and the performing arts. It wasn't The Biggest Loser, it wasn't a health thing, it wasn't anything like that. And you're gonna come on my channel and leave comments like this? This person was the closest I've ever been to blocking somebody just because I don't tolerate that kind of talk. When I was a middle school and high school teacher, I tolerated no talk like that. I actually told my kids if you didn't have something nice or constructive to say in a polite way, I didn't want to hear it and I would have no problem documenting it and sending them down to the administration or the principal. I wasn't mean about it, I just laid it down, this is not okay. This is not acceptable. And it's the same right now on my channel. These comments are not acceptable. And again, 90% of the comments you guys leave are good. They're constructive, they're positive. You guys are leaving good things. You're letting me know that the content is good for you. It's helping you out. It's changing some lives. It's just making your day better. That's the whole goal of doing YouTube, in my opinion. You are just telling stories. You're making life better. There are some people that write me and say, you know, I work the late shift and I come home at 7 o'clock a.m. and try to stay up till 9 before going to sleep and your videos go up at 8 a.m. and like I'm relaxing in bed having my dinner at breakfast time and I just watch you and a few other YouTubers and then go to sleep and it just makes my day. And for people like that, I say, you're welcome. Thank you for watching. I will continue making this content for you and everybody else who is willing to be here and be a member of this community. Whew, I didn't mean to have such a serious video topic during Vlogmas. It's supposed to be like happy, you know, holiday festive videos that are cheery and so positive, but I figured if this is gonna keep happening, I wanna address it at some point, let you guys know. It's been a question on a lot of people's minds, so I just wanted to get it out there. Read the top three worst comments I've gotten on this video. But let's end on a good note. Let's end with some cheer and read some kindness in the comments. Brought to you by the Pixel, AKA I left the world of iPhones. This is a rough transition. Sandy wrote, Kristen, I have song requests for Friday's live stream. Oh, this Friday, December 8th at 5 p.m. I'll be doing a live stream on this channel raising money for Operation Christmas Child. All you have to do is come, request a song, join the conversation, give a thumbs up. That thumbs up will equal a dollar donated to them. And then anybody that gives super chats, uh, your video request will be bumped up. And if you donate more than $5 and you want me to send you like a DM of a Christmas song, I will definitely do that too. Or I won't if you want to give $5 and say don't sing to me, either way. But she wrote, Chris and I have a song request. Hallelujah, or Amazing Grace, or I Will Always Love You. You pick. Sandy, I'm gonna give that a heart. Uh, yeah. Oh, April Holly Smith noticed that she got mentioned in a video earlier here in Vlogmas, and she truly supports what we're doing with Operation Christmas Child. Freedom in a Budget wrote, I agree with you, Kristen, home on a Friday night is a treat. That is so true. I think I remember during my teenage years, like, being grounded, having to stay home and not go anywhere or spend anything were like punishments. And now I'm like, yes, I'm gonna stay home. I'm not gonna do anything and I'm not gonna buy anything. This is awesome. Like, when did the tables turn? But if you guys do take anything from this video, just remember to work hard, be kind, keep your eyes on your goal, what you're working for, and support other people in theirs. Do not go around sending rude comments or criticism to anybody in a bad or negative light. It's not helpful to you or them. So just work hard, be kind, keep positive, and have a great rest of the year, okay? Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you tomorrow. One more thing, you guys. This year, I have been nominated for a Broadway World Award for Best Leading Actress in a Musical from when I did Pirates of Penzance, and voting is open from now until December 31st. All you have to do to cast a vote is enter a valid email address. Go down, click Continue. I'll be category number six, Best Leading Actress in a Musical. You can click Continue through all of them. You'll find my name in category six. And bonus points if you can find my boyfriend, Chris Rusin, he'll be in category 26. Once you click through all the categories, you'll enter your name, your email address, you'll select no to receive any future updates, then you just click finish and you are done. Once again, voting is open from now until December 31st. Please share this with anybody who you would know would like to support the arts, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.